This is the Iowa Weather Report for Tuesday, February 12th, 2013. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at noon today. We have one storm system moving across New England into the Canadian Maritimes, another digging across Texas and Oklahoma and New Mexico. And that'll be producing a little bit of snow activity around there, some rain showers and maybe a rumble of thunder across East Texas into the south where some flooding could occur down in that part of the country. Around here we'll have highs in the uh, 30s to near 40 with plenty of sunshine. That continues here into Wednesday as that storm to our south moves across the southeastern states, the Carolinas. A little bit of snow maybe in Kentucky and maybe northwestern Tennessee and and seasonal weather around here, but that's not going to last. A clipper system comes through here Thursday. Could produce a few flurries or maybe a light snow shower. The chances about maybe 20 to 30 percent. Temperatures will start to drop, though, back into the 20s to low 30s. And then Friday, we'll have highs likely struggling into the 20s. Maybe some upper teens, a few clouds around, maybe a few flurries. Nothing of any significance around, however. And then we head into the weekend. The cold air just dives straight southward into the deep south, the 540 line, all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Around here, highs in the 20s, lows around 10, maybe a few single digits. Sunday, we start to see some moderation as the warm air starts to return. Southwesterly winds, temperatures back to about the freezing mark. Maybe some upper 30s in southwestern Iowa with still plenty of sunshine. And then Monday, to start off the new work week, we have a storm system beginning to develop to our south with some rain. The Gulf of Mexico begins to open up, so rain from Missouri southward, maybe some snow across Colorado and up into Minnesota. And then a week from today, next Tuesday, that storm, not looking as impressive as it did yesterday. It'll be moving across the Great Lakes. Another storm digging into the northern California and southern Oregon coast. And at the surface, we'll have the one storm moving off to the east across the eastern Great Lakes through the south. Some snow there may skim the state early next week, but the next storm off to our west is one we'll have to watch. Heading across into Voodoo here on the 23rd of February, we have a bit of energy over Arizona, another over North Dakota as the flow is a little west to east, a bit of a ridge over the eastern Pacific. And we have another clipper system just to our north, producing some light snow across Minnesota and the Dakotas. Some rain moving across the southern part of the country, the deep south into Texas and Oklahoma. And at the end of the forecast on the 27th, we have a big trough over the western half of the country with energy coming from the desert southwest up into the northern high plains and western Great Lakes. And if this pans out, this would be the big bad nasty a low pressure center near Wausau, Wisconsin, some heavy snow, maybe a blizzard if this is right, some thunderstorms to the south and east, and this is a storm we'll have to watch in future model runs. Last night's satellite image was fairly quiet after a big storm moved off to the east over the eastern Great Lakes, some cloudiness extending across the south with some rain showers there, and a storm system over to our south and west with some clouds there as well. The watch warning map from last evening, there's the flood watches over the south with some river flood warnings there as well. Winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle. Elsewhere across the country, outside of a few other things, it's fairly quiet. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. Very little, if anything, around here. Most of the precipitation will be well to our south and southeast with upwards of 1 to 2 inches of rain possible in the south through the Carolinas.